Hello everyone, it's Fizzy in here, and um, today I'm going to be doing a quick video um, on some new stuff I just now added to my blog. But first of all, I got something to say, you iPhone users, I, I don't really know if this applies to the iPod Touch users, I'll probably check here in a minute, but iPhone users, there's a new version of um, iPhone OS out, it is 3.1.3. I don't know what it does. Um, I know it's probably just a couple security updates. Uh, one of my good friends um, who has an iPhone, he downloaded it. Um, he did lose his jailbreak. Obviously, that always happens. Um, but still, um, he said there's really no difference at all. Um, I did comment on it, saying though that it seemed I, I did pick up his phone to um, just see what all he had, like any new games or something. Actually, he has the iPhone 3G, which is really slow, but I saw a pretty big difference in uh, performance. Um, so I might have some performance fixes and stuff like that. So, But then again, it might have also been because he lost his jailbreak, because I have to admit, when I was jailbroken, I did lose a lot of performance on my iPod Touch. So and when I unjailbroke, it's like perfect. Well, mostly. Anyway, this video is... That was just a quick little news flash for you guys. Um, I'll probably post up on my blog over there a quick little, um, a quickie little link to, like, a, um, a post that shows all what, what all it does in case you're interested. So, yeah, well, I'll look at Now that, so. for the exciting stuff. What all is going on on my blog? So, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, really not much has changed, but I did add one neat new feature you might already see it going kicking in action or going right now um, it's going rather slow right now because it's still loading but once it's finished loading you see that there's a marquee there when we go in widescreen you might be able to see a little better that is an updates bar and um, it is a little laggy on the iPad touch for some reason but on the desktop it actually seemed to have smoothed itself out but this here is just a quick little update bar that I'm going to be basically using to post quick little updates. Right now I have four up on there. And as you guys can see, I can put links to YouTube pages on here. Like if I click on Lance the Blue Knight like I just did there, uh, it'll automatically take me over to his YouTube page. I will not do that just because I don't want to. Um, so that is really the big thing that I've just did. Uh, I was thinking about actually adding like a box on the side, but I figured that that'd be just a little too overcomplicated, and um, yeah, I didn't really need to do that. So uh, yeah, so I got a new little updates box. It's uh, right below PSZS and Cube Search, which I'm thinking about removing. I don't know how many people actually use that. Uh, and now I also have a new poll up on here that if you want to, you might want to vote on. It basically is asking you what you think of this new uh, updates bar up here. And one thing that I couldn't put on the poll, but if you have any other, if you have any, like, suggestions for other uses for this uh, little marquee that I have up here, uh, you can suggest those to me over at, uh, at pizzascience20hour.com if, like, maybe... You know, if there's something else you might want me to use it for, um, like, um, I don't know, it's just whatever besides just updates. Um, so yeah, and also, one last thing, this is a really quick video I know, but one last thing, if you actually want, if you actually want something like this on your blog, this is so easy to create, it's really not. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do a tutorial one day, but you, you just look up the word HTML marquee on Google, and you'll figure out how to do this. Now, adding links and stuff does involve, like, a couple more, a little more knowledge of HTML, which I do still have very little knowledge of HTML, but, yeah. So, um, uh, that's basically what all is going on in my blog, so be sure to, um, if you're an iPhone user, be sure to up update your software I will be checking to see if it's an iPod touch one too and if it is then I'll probably just do a quick download walkthrough um, if there is a new version available but I do know 
that there is a new version for the iPhone. I even confirmed it by checking his about section on in his settings. There really is a 3.1.3 out there. So make sure you go ahead and um, update your iPhones and iPhone Touch users. If you if there's nothing available, you're still good to go. So yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And um, oh, I should also mention I don't think that new software update has any new features. It's probably just security updates and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what all it has, but I'll probably post up a link on my blog because, you know, that is one thing that I am committing to doing it ever since I got this is um, software update alerts. And whenever I, like, seriously, whenever I hear about a new one, I'm going to immediately announce it. So, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully this just, good. yeah. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments about anything in this video, let me know down below in a comment below or send them over to pizzasignsmonia.com. Also, uh, as I've said a million times, go check out my blog. Oh, wow, I just realized the lighting in here is pretty bad. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, go check out my blog. Uh, link is over there in the description to your right. And um, be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash pzgsn, which is also over there to your right. Um, so thanks again for watching, guys, and um, adios.